What's up guys, it's Crypto Michael here today, coming to you with an easy video on Hive OS and how to set up the new miners, uh, the new beam miner in Hive OS, because now it's in Hive OS. Um, I was working really hard on getting my AMD pushed out onto Hive, but Hive beat me to it. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to show you all a little bit of a... Uh, website -age, and then we'll get on to the show so this show is brought to you today by crypto Michael designs be sure guys to go there check out the awesome swag in there um, help support this channel uh, the more money y'all spend there the the more stuff I'll get to get for y'all to show on the channel. Get some more mining cards and show those. So be sure to check this place out, guys. Go to OG Designs. You know, check out all of the awesome stuff I have to offer. Oh, and you don't like that? Well, you like some artwork? Well, here you go. I got an Ethereum Ward canvas that I made. And there's even a raven in the Bitcoin moon canvas, guys. This one is my favorite. Is my favorite. You gotta love that. So be sure, guys, go check the place out. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, here's Hive. Uh, my first, you know, my NVIDIA rig was already was already beaming um, so we'll go to the second rig we'll just throw it off for a second it's already mining beam but we're having an issue with this middle card it won't stay hashing it keeps dropping off it'll mine for a little bit and drop off um, come back and then it'll drop off again just the middle card. I don't know what's wrong with the other, with that one. It's actually my my best card. That one runs the coolest. Uh, usually gets a better hash rate. Um, so it was it's a little strange seeing that card be a problem. So we'll go into flight sheets. <clears throat> now I already have a be a beam built out right here, but I will show you guys. Anyway, so you'll go here, and now you can type in Beam, but now Beam has a ticker so you can see it. Um, add it in your wallet, select your pool, don't forget to choose the Europe server. And now here you have you have the Beam Miner, which they just released in their, not this last update, but the update before that, Beam Miner now accepts Equihash 150-5, which is what uh, Beam is, and then you have your Beam CUDA miner, which is what I'm using on my NVIDIA rig, but I'm using the one that I built out, so it still works. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, so then you have Beam OpenCL miner. Um, so this is their new one. We're gonna go ahead and add a miner to this because I need to finish out my Monero. Uh, go XM rig. So this is how you would set up, you know, your beam, and that's of course how you dual you set up your dual miner. This I'm setting up setting it up for XMR. So I gotta finish my loadout my payout um, create flight sheet super simple guys so we will go back into workers and then go to rig 2 who is offline flight sheets Beam CUDA miner. Here's the beam open call miner. <clears throat> Alright, so 
so it's doing that real fast while it's doing that I need to refigure my overclock settings For whatever reason, I don't think it likes it. Where should I go? 975, 975, 975. Leave that there. 2000 memory clock on a 570 is basically stock. going all right so the rig is turning on uh oh I forgot I forgot I pressed those buttons um so don't forget to press the rocket ship when you upload that uh that flight sheet So we're currently loading up now. Let me just give it a second. There's Hive. I'm trying to make this video as short as possible for you guys. Um, Device zero, memory checked okay. Memory, device one, memory checked okay. Device two, memory checked okay. The build was successful. Working. All right, there we go. So I'm getting, I'm getting about six to seven souls per 1070 or 570. <clears throat> so as you can see, they're beaming away. Um, so now both my rigs are beaming away. Um, so stay tuned for next time and yeah this was a short video today guys I just wanted to show y'all that Hydro S now has the loadouts in uh, integrated in their system so now there's no difficult way to do this you just gotta plug it on like you usually do um, so without further ado guys I will see y'all next time